Hi, how are you doing Taurus? This is your reading for September 18th, September 26th. I'm really hoping you're having a wonderful day. I'm really hoping you're having a blessed one. Uh, you might be dealing with a Scorpio within your life or somebody who has a Scorpio within their charts. Uh, something is um, dying, something is transforming within your life. Uh, so you gotta go through that and uh, end the scene, um, roll up the credits with whatever you got going on with your life. And it's kind of like it's dying and it feels like it's living you mid-air. What do I do? Where do I go? But that's just how you're feeling. And if you stick around in that energy, I feel like um, it comes with the Ten of Swords. I uh, just see you feeling a sense of loss, abandonment. Uh, man, fuck. I strongly feel like this might be dealing with a relationship within your life. Uh, well, it's cause, well, the Ten of Souls just says something is, um, you know, you feel that sense of abandonment within oneself, a sense of defeat when it comes to others, you know. Um, it, it, yes, I get it. However, it, you have to realize that you're independent. I told, I told one Taurus one time, you can work hard. And Taurus, uh, if you know me that much, you know that um, I'm a Capricorn. Yo, though Taurus and Virgo can work really hard, I work better than your motherfuckers. You know. Also, I'm kind of self-centered. You know. Uh, but it's the sense of you work hard, you um, put in effort. I'm speaking about myself. You work hard, you put in effort in something. And if it goes wrong, it's truly going to hurt a lot. Um, if you had your hopes in somebody, hopes in a connection, um, you were relying on something or somebody. Uh, you thought somebody could have been a good future with you. Somebody you had a possibility, chances with. Somebody who you might have let your guard down. Just, it's about time to really just recuperate, you know, that energy within yourself. Try to understand yourself. Um, realize that the time you are in right now is that um, financial independency, financial financially independent you don't have any problems with your monies which is actually beautiful quite nice um i feel like you yourself you're having a self-esteem being boosted it's just the sense of when you're dealing with others and so much energy and expectations you're holding on to and when you're dealing with the eight of swords i know the eight of swords and eight of souls is kind of like in that fear of your mind you can easily let go you can easily take action however there is a sense of um, you need to take action so that you can move on for the better so that you can really um, feel you be you um, but with the ten of souls I, I really feel like I really feel like this is about love, Taurus. You want me to be honest with you? I feel like it's about love. I don't even know how my voice just changed from this to this. But something gotta die. And you gotta be willing to walk and move forward from that. Could be a situation uh, dealing with your work situation within your life, partnership during work. Even in your life in general, something got to die so that um, you can move on for the better. You can move on to achieve more. You can move on to achieve even better. Maybe in the past, you might have been quite emotionally out there. And you're being advised. Yeah, maybe in the past, you maybe in the past you've been holding back. Let's be honest. Sometimes we got to hold back. Sometimes we don't let people get in our barriers because we're afraid of things going sour. However, it's kind of like things never really... Things went the way they were supposed to. Just hold on to what you have. What does tourists need to know?
Wheel of Fortune, there's going to be a chance for bigger opportunities, bigger, better opportunities. There is, um, with a page of wands, I feel like there's communication that's taking place within your life. You might be talking to somebody. Uh, with a page of cups, I feel like uh, they keep their distance away. They don't the say much. They don't say much. You get the page of souls. Trying to do things one step at a time. Yeah, but the Dennis and uh, what's yeah. the name? Just have people um, test after nine o'clock. I guarantee you that Dennis is just saying, you know. You have the sun and the moon. This communication might be coming from Pisces. Somebody who has Pisces within their charts. I feel like there's something that needs to be revealed to you. Maybe you might not like it. However, it might is going to lead you in a place of more stability. She worked one. She worked one, and it was after the fact that I had to take her out there on church. Road. Might be done with your work situation, or what you do for work. But just take control of your life. Wait before you take action. Just be careful before you take action. Try something new, try something different. Experiment. Stand your ground, stand for what you believe in. You're going to be coming to a place, a point that you have to make a decision within your actions. People around you see you as an example. Whatever you might be doing in the public eye, giving to the people, sort of service. All they're doing is showing they can do it without. I mean, that's what I'm thinking now, but that's what he said. I know. I mean, it might be that you're not where you want to be. Look at Reggie. Look at Reggie. He died and they had it fatal. It might be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look at Reggie. Two months later, they had it. It might be that you're not a fan of walking in the daylight, or maybe you walk in the night time. But just try, try, before you take action, just try to experiment with things, with what you have around you. Do what you do, keep doing what you're doing. It's just the sense of, can you try to see new ways, new perspectives? With a six of wands, with a six of wands, I see there is appreciation and applause for what you're doing. There is appreciation and recognition for what you might be, what you got going on. There is going to be some traveling involved. Um, movement, um, journeys, um, at this time, this is why you're being advised, sorry, when I have people in my energy, it's so hard, it's so fucking hard for me to do a reading, you know, however, I guess it keeps me focused, I don't even know, I know, uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, don't be, don't be quick to spend what you have, don't be quick to spend the money you have. 
um trying to be reasonable and strategic for moving on forward because there might be a time that you need to use your finances and it might be even be a time that you need to spend money to make more money so if you spend what you have right now it's not going to be quite um rewarding with the chariot um i feel like uh at this time you might be having so many things coming up let's say with your money strongly even money comes up um balance out your work and play time however um with the chariot it might be like you being having there is different energies that are pouring you in different locations uh different places um you just feel a sense of uh you know just distraction coming from those around you oh yeah um with the sun in reverse the moon it might be like are you coming to a time where you work best at night i don't know um and maybe that's helping you get the done work it might be like uh it could be with your work situation uh where you might be being asked to work at night uh, with the Queen of Swords, I feel like maybe being defensive about having communication about this, or just even a phone call about this. However, this there is a victory. Uh, it's just like some few things needs to get said. Some feelings gotta be expressed. It might be with the with the Sun card and the Moon card. Um, you yourself, you're going through a phase of enlightenment. It's just like I, I really see this as more of a a night crawler rather than just a daytime individual. See this as uh, nighttime. It might be like you're chasing your passions at night. Um, whatever you're doing uh, at night is allowing you to set up a foundation for yourself. Um, it might be that also uh, whatever you've been doing at night is been quite um, not going to plan and just how you expected it or just something has to come to an end. Uh, just the fun has to end and now you're deciding to you know change directions change where you might be heading there's a big need for you also to rest heal up you know um uh heal up really um yeah uh, yeah you get the empress the her front and um you have the empress the hair front and the ace of pentacles I, I, I just asked myself when I said the Empress, why hasn't the Empress fallen in love with the Hierophant? It's always the Empress and the Emperor. What about the Hierophant? Just nobody will ever know. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, with the Empress, um, just it might be coming to a time where you gotta um, regain that sense of love uh, from within. Um, just honest with yourself and others around you um, just opening yourself up to um, giving and receiving however in this case I feel like you have went through so much that the best you can do is just recuperate and regain your strength within yourself there might be somebody who is looking for commitment uh, Taurus somebody I'm gonna just say, yeah, somebody, I'm gonna just say somebody who's looking for commitment. There might be somebody, <laughs> there might be somebody who's also um, seeing you as a partner. Somebody who sees you as a potential individual to build a future with. There might be somebody who sees you as their wish fulfillment. Uh, it might be somebody who you made your wish upon. Um, it could be even you signing contracts. Uh, within even your career where you're getting a career upgrade or just a um, new job that brings you money you know but um overall i see commitment i see long stable relationships that i'm serious about you as much as you're serious about them and um i really see growth needing to take place it's just like you, get, you might be needing to sit in a place of uh, emotional satisfaction emotional satisfaction being satisfied with who you are from oneself. Man. One sign 
the you know one sign that it gives me a hard time to, well i am um i don't want to say i'm mistrusting individual however it's just the sense of the way taurus speak it's kind of like you just it's so hard to trust a taurus when you meet them at first if you're not into astrology shit it's just like you see somebody just bubbling all the time and you're just like can i even trust what they have to say or is just a bull load of crap <laughs> um and then when you lose them in your life that's when you're like oh um maybe i could have trusted these motherfuckers but it is what it is um you might be feeling a bit disappointed in where you are or what you have achieved uh, it might be something that you're waiting on to make an achievement of or just something you might be working on and you're not seeing the results uh, with the page of pens because I feel like this is something that needs to be done it's not complete whatever you might be thinking like it's complete I feel like you're just in the middle way you're just learning man you know you just you're still learning your ropes away your finances it might be something you want it to bring you financial balance but it's kind of like hey you're still a noob uh, regardless of how old you think you are, how much experience you have, it's kind of like you're still studying out. However, there's a wish fulfillment that's coming in strongly, and it might be needing you to walk away uh, from a situation and actually close a door within your life. It's coming big, and uh, with the death card showing up almost three times this reading, um, I feel like something got to end within your life, Taurus. And... The tower is falling down, and as the tower falls down, you know, shit goes down. You get to a point or a place with the four of cups where you have to uh, look through your options, uh, or just the options you have around you. Don't be quick to send them off, or don't be quick to send them away. Uh, trying to take a good look at them. Some of them might be quite what you're looking for. Um, with the two of swords, um, it's that energy of um, face yourself, be honest to yourself, and uh, be logical in the decisions and then the actions you take. With the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like, yeah, there's going to be financial bonus in knowledge coming in for you. It's just like, are you ready? You know, are you ready to just uh, loosen up on your side? Are you ready to really see things from a new eye, new point of view? Um, and are you ready to work on things, you know? Because you might be wanting something to come through right off the bat. However, it's kind of like you're still, you're still learning. You know, you're still working on things. And it's kind of like, you know, damn. You know, I want to make something of this. I want to make this be, so, like, I want to get it over done with. It's kind of like where you are going or just what you're doing is more, it's propelling you for a better future. It's propelling you to become a better individual. Uh, with the Six of Swords, I feel like uh, you learned your lessons from previous life experiences. You might have been in, you might have been in situations that were co uh, conflicted, chaotic. Uh, people who just, um, you didn't agree on the same page, you just, you were too different. And um, it's kind of like that, that's kind of ending, and that's kind of like you're moving on for the better. Is there anything Taurus needs to know? financial security um you holding on to your finances and uh, you studying new ideas and new projects so that's what i'm seeing right off the bat i feel like I sh uh, yeah i feel like i'm gonna do that so yeah um taurus um if you're new here stop putting up boundaries i know you can be like oh i don't trust people other than people who look like me you know how you trust people you click that button that says subscribe and then you trust people because nobody in this world you can trust unless those who you have lost and then you now you know that they're trustworthy it's just the sense of can you be good by yourself because in life you're gonna make mistakes and one thing that i truly learned in this life is that if you're not trying if you're not failing you're not trying yeah, if you're not failing, you're not trying. Peace. No, but like really, actually, subscribe. I don't know why, but do it.